So we brought in the new Grizzly 1836 drum sander. The thing is super heavy. Here's the open side. Quite a handful bringing it inside. So just hang with me and we'll get the stand built. We'll go ahead and get it up on the stand and get it in operation. Hello everybody and welcome back to Glasenberry Designs. Glad you're able to join us and we're blessed to have you. So one of the things we're going to be doing today, jump right in, we're going to be setting up the new drum sander. Uh, i got to build the, the base for it and we're going to get it set on the base and hopefully power it up and get it running. Today we've got a lot of cutting boards we want to run through it and I'm pretty excited to do that. So the first, uh, first step is I'm going to unpackage everything and get the parts laid out on the table. I got to clean up the workbench a little bit and we'll try to get the drum sander up and go. Stand set up. The only thing I have left is getting the package of bolts opened up. Went ahead and saved everybody the headache to watch and we take all the plastic off. And those legs. A little bit of a a little bit of a job, getting everything opened up. It appears so far that everything's been laid out pretty good and packaged up. Um, hopefully that is the case. We're able to get this machine together and get it up and running pretty quickly here. Directions here. Went ahead and taken a look at everything. Hopefully so far we're we're good to go. So what the directions are telling me to do is take two of these leg sections. That's going to be screwed together by these long cross numbers. That when everything's said and done, it'll be turned upside down when I'm building it, so it'll be like this. But when everything's said and done, it'll sit like this. And then they also come with two of these heavy duty top cross members that also has to be put on. So far, the only thing that we're working with is these square bolt holes right here. We're going to go ahead and Get those put together, and I'll be back with you when that's those legs are assembled. We want to have we put all the bolts into one half of the frame. They have square holes in them, so they hold themselves, which is pretty uh, pretty decent. So the next step in the process, we're going to take these larger these larger mounts right here, or these larger braces. We're going to go in going this way, and that's what's going to build the platform for the drum sander to set on. So I went ahead and I got uh, two, of the, two of the bolts ready. I'm going to put them right in the holes, and along the top here, just like this. We'll assemble this side here, and it's laying down. And then I'll go ahead and put the top on it and we'll assemble the top. We'll make it one full side together and then we've gotten all the cross members for the short side put on. Left it a little bit loose so I can get this piece on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. I'm going to get all of, the, all of the bolt holes lined up. I've got the bolts separated right now too hard of a job. This has been 
fairly easy so far. Probably just uh, probably just really screwed up right there saying that. But we'll see. Something's got my, something's got my chicken set uh, upset outside. And there's our first issue. Uh, no, I don't know if I said it, it happened. Uh, it's not too big of an issue though. No problem. Get that one put in on this side. The machine itself is about two. Uh, well, the shipping container weight was three, 375 pounds. So, the base itself only weighs about 25 pounds. So I'm guessing that machine weighs, after the little pallet that it was on, probably weighs three and a quarter. Guess we'll see whether or not I can lift it. So the next thing I want to do here is I want to make sure that the chain mechanism for lowering and raising this machine is tight. I'm going to make sure they're not going to come out of there. Start running the machine. It's right there. And then reading the reviews, one of the things that people complained about was those two little sprockets coming loose and falling down off the frame of the machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to tighten those down just to make sure everything is good to go. seem tight. Let's over here onto the base. Hopefully I don't break the machine on the fill. Too bad. So I've got the drum sander on its stand. Got to put the wheel on the drum sander to lower the platform, the belt up and down. And it looks like that's a pretty simple job of just lining up the keyways right here. Lining up the keyways right here where you can see them. Put a couple of little knobs right here to stick out. And then this Allen that screw goes in there. Tighten it down just a little bit. So we have the new drum sander connected to the dust collector. We got it set up um, to be operational. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get it turned on and go ahead and run the 
do the first test run on it with a, one of the paddle boards. Okay, so we ran the board through, uh, one of the handle boards through a couple of times now. Pretty happy with how the machine functions. So that's going to wrap up this video, building the base for the drum sander, getting the drum sander up and operational. Uh, we've tested it, pretty happy with it. So if you liked the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would appreciate it if you do. It'll be uh, very helpful to the channel and to my family. Um, go ahead and hit the, hit the bell as well so you can get the updates when I post new videos. And uh, until we see each other again, stay blessed.